Uh, 500 tonight. What, what's that mean to you at this stage of your career? Yeah, it's cool. I think, um, you know, you grow up just hoping to play in the NHL one game. Uh, you know, to play 500, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, definitely above expectations and, um, you know, just uh, happy I can get to this point. Is there a moment that stands out uh, for you over the first 499? Um, you know, probably a couple. I think, uh, you know, it's just been been fun to, uh, you know, play the game, play a lot of games at that. Um, you know, you try not to take it for granted, come to the rink every day um, with a good mindset, you know, happy to be here. And um, I think that's the most important thing is, um, you know, try not to take it for granted. Yeah, probably from the time you were drafted, people tell you how fast it's going to go. Is it going yeah. fast at 500? What can you say about that part of it? Yeah, definitely. It goes by uh, in a blink of an eye. So, um, you know, try to cherish every moment I can. and. Um, you know, as they get a little bit older, you, you kind of um, are able to do that a little bit easier and, uh, you know, really focus on uh, enjoying the time you have. Alex, what do you remember about the first one? Was it at, was it at United Center or where were you guys at? Yeah, we were at the United Center. Um, we played Pittsburgh, so, um, you know, got to go up against some, some big guys, uh, you know, right off the bat. Um, you know, kind of took a little bit of pressure off. Um, myself, just because uh, we won the game 10-1, so um, we were <laughs> we were kind of buzzing that game and um, kind of you know you're not hoping to not make a mistake, you know three 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 game or something like that. So it's uh, was a little bit easier for me to kind of settle in and um, you know enjoy that game the best I can. Uh, no, I, I got an assist. Um, they gave it to me the next day, so you can imagine how great it was. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, nothing in the in, in the game, but uh, yeah, it was just a, a good memory for me. I think um, you know, I think it's always I'm always gonna remember that game and you know, kind of the nerves that were going into that, and um, it's just a special game for me. I'm sure, Kaner and those guys didn't kneel you about that. I mean, they were <laughs> really yeah, they were kind to you about that. Yeah, no, it was uh, I don't know, it was a good game. I feel like uh, you know, those guys had a, a good night, and um, you know, I got front row seat to it, so it was uh, fun for me. Everything else up for the game this weekend? I mean, how's your wife doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, she's doing good. She's uh, <laughs> trying to battle through. I feel like. Uh, uh, you know, any day now where she's, uh, you know, going to give birth. So um, we're hoping to get through the weekend uh, with nothing, um, you know, unexpected. So we'll see how that goes. But, um, you know, I'm excited to, to go the weekend with, with my family and enjoy that time. And, um, you know, just kind of take it all in. Like like I said, I think it's, um, you know, a lot easier to, to take it in at this point in my life and, and career. I feel like, uh, you know, I'm definitely not taking it for granted. You know, you never know when it's your last one. So, um, you know, hopefully I can enjoy the weekend. Are you in any, how, how many of those skills competitions yeah. are you in before? Um, I don't think I'm in any of the skills competition. I think it's just the 12 guys. Um, so I'll just be playing the game. But um, I think it'll be pretty fun to, to watch those guys. Um, and the skill on display, I think it will be uh, a cool thing for the fans and obviously, I mean, us too, just to be there and, and watch and, you know, um, you know, you see how good those guys are at, um, you know, certain things and um, it should be fun. So you've told them, look, guys, I may have to, like, head back here or something like that. Yeah, I think uh, I think they know the plan. Um, we're, we're, we're trying to push through the weekend. I think we'll be fine, but, um, you know, worst case, I have to go back, but um, I think we'll be good. Uh, identical from where we were the other night, exact same lineup. Shirat's game, right? yeah, probably similar patty. Um, just take advantage of the eight day break. Uh, hope to have both of them uh, after the break. We'll be a little disappointed if we don't, but we'll see how the rest uh, goes for them. Is there a danger of like last day of school or something? Yeah, absolutely. Especially the way we've been playing. And just the unique, uh, I think this is the first time we've had three days between a game and a while. Um, look at last night, uh, you had two shutouts, um, two teams battling for uh, the playoff spots. We've seen two teams who are not. So, um, yeah, of course, I just want to keep our game in order and another opportunity to play the right way. Yep. Have you done that? Yet? No, yes and no. I don't, you know, you, the media will probably make more of it. 
than what it really is. It's just it's like it's us going to any game. Um, we want to be emotionally involved, uh, but we want to manage our emotions too. Um, you know, it's it's who we've been all year. Where obviously we're not built like some teams physically, but I think we've done a good job of standing up for ourselves and getting pushed back when need be. So again, for us, it's going to be about playing the right way, keeping our game in order, and try to eat more points. It's, I mentioned this, it's, it's hard to get a run like this. It's very rare to get a run like this, and you want to keep it going as long as you can. What did you learn about your team on that run, given the competition you played against? Just the, 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 the whole thing. Like I know I, I, I told the internal story where Ben Sherratt said, we're getting 18 points before the break. Um, I think that's the mentality of some of the guys. I was just, just you, know, you sit back and you get excited yourself. It's impressive. And their battle to hang in there, um, find ways. Um, you know, some of those road trip wins where we just kind of hung in there and find a way late. Um, even going back to Saturday night, uh, an okay first period, five goals are scored. It's probably a sloppy period for both teams. And then our best hockey comes the next 40 minutes, probably the best we've managed to lead all year. So the team's showing some um, some mental fortitude here. Uh, but again, it's just a stretch. Um, you know, I've said a couple times, you start showing what this group's capable of, uh, I'd like to hold you guys accountable to that. How kind of flip the ball and we look at top defenseman, we, yep. we talk about points and all that stuff, but... How do you apply the proper context with how often he does start in the defensive zone? Because you look at oh, yeah. the other guys, it's... Valuable player. It's, we've asked too much of him early in his career. He's handled it extremely well. Um, obviously, he gets every, every tough matchup. Um, and I just think when you go through our conference and our division, every tough matchup, I mean, you know, Kucherov, McDavid came through town. Um, He's been he's been excellent. Uh, I know, you know I just of late people bring up some underlying numbers, which is uh, it's not the case. You can see that the eye test is there, but even our own analytic numbers. He's a very valuable player. He's handled this type of role extremely well uh, so early in his career. It's a really good sign for us going forward. That's kind of why I bring it up too, because you see, there's been the, a lot of the and, you know, we'll break down. Yep. This underlying number says he's this, and, and when he's this. like, how do you kind of gauge and look at that? I know you guys look at your own stuff in the back end. Yeah, probably internal chances for and against, uh, winning shifts, winning games. Uh, you're going to get 15 defensive zone starts versus Nikita Kucherov. No one's going to have a good night. Uh, but I think so. I think you got to be realistic on what those numbers are. Um, is he direct results of some of those mistakes? Is he still managing his game correctly? You see, he's, he's minimizing his mistakes great uh, from where I even started with him a couple years ago. So, yeah, again, I think it's been hockey and it'll be hockey going forward. The underlying numbers are real. It's a great tool, uh, but our, our game is too fluid. There's too many moving parts to it. The perfect example of matchups. Um, of, of you just you just can't live and die off numbers. It's a tool, but it's not the end goal. With him, and kind of the, as the minutes have ramped up, he's one of the guys who sometimes he rapidizes minutes up and he struggles, and he's someone who I think he went through that initially, but has now kind of gotten better with it. Like, how do you kind of look at him with the usage? Kind yeah, of I think it's a good observation. I think some guys get a rhythm with playing a lot of minutes. Uh, I, th I think you got to be smart. I don't think you want to roll him out there 27, 28 every, every night. But we've had a couple of those games where we've needed him all 60 minutes. And if we're killing or protecting the ladies, he's gone to that 24, 25, 26 minute range. Um, but yeah, I think you got to manage that. But he's a guy, I think that um, he has an engine like that. Uh, I think he thrives off that. Here post break, do you guys have? Yet to the goal timing, how that's work. No, we don't. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna get um, uh, Alex back in tonight. Actually, Billy's unavailable. Just be feeling a little under the weather. Fluids going around uh, for most of the group here. Um, but yeah, we'll have to manage that. I don't think playing Alex lying 14 of 15 uh, like we have 
is a recipe for success going forward. But we have three capable. Um, knock on wood, I give Steve a lot of credit. Um, carrying three goalies is not easy. It's very unique to the league. And um, he's, he didn't flinch on it. He's like, you know, we'll take advantage of some cap space, some roster space. We need to carry three. And sure enough, thank God, two of them went down. Uh, so we're very fortunate. So no plan exactly. Um, you know, we'll kind of reset everyone else, evaluate that and get back. Well, that's kind of earned the number one draft. Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, we're trying to win every game. And this is a perfect example. We have three days between games. We have one game before the break. And, of course, we're playing to win. And he's the guy who chose. So that's, I think that speaks where his game's at. Obviously, the illness is one thing, but the otherwise, after the conditioning start, like, if he was healthy, he would, yeah. like he'd be available. He'd be available. Okay. That, was a, yeah. that was a good week for him. Yeah. Uh, practice leading up to his game in Grand Rapids, uh, he showed very well when he was healthy. Let's see something.